Can we just for a moment talk about um, my outfit? Like, for real, I've got it going on today. Like, I love these earrings. They were like an impulse buy on Etsy. I love the color of this necklace. I, it is like gray and cloudy out and chilly. So, you know, gotta love the cardigan. Plus, I teach elementary school. So, you know, cardigan's like a teacher staple in the wardrobe. Got my favorite polka dot uh, tank because um, I love polka dots and the lace is pretty. And I've got pink pants on. I mean, guys, I got, I got going on today. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my grandmother's ring. So, you know, it's been me. Uh, it is Sunday, March 26th, 2017. Last week I weighed 215.2. Today I stepped on the scale and I weighed 211.2. I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> like, I didn't change anything. Um, in, I, I went to CrossFit twice. Um, I went to the gym twice and then I did yesterday's workout in my own little apartment gym. Uh, you can still, you can see the bruise from the thrusters that I did yesterday. Now guys, thrusters, just look it up, CrossFit thrusters. I know where your mind went. Um, and I, my eating stayed, yeah, you know, I just stayed the course, just continued to eat how I want to eat for the rest of my life and whatever. You know, your body's going to do what it's going to do. And that is a really good segue into um, what I want this video to be about, which is, um, have I reached a goal? And what does this word goal mean? Oh, girl. Well, the outfit's going on, the hair not so much today. <laughs> um, you know, I've seen a lot of people who have been posting lately. Um about uh like this one gal she posted on facebook the other day you know she she's like uh i i've reached this weight and i want to get to my goal weight you know but i've been at this weight for about a year i don't know i can't remember but it was a long time and her body keeps fluctuating between the same five and ten pounds but it stays pretty like the average is that weight she's like and i really want to reach my goal weight and then, and, and talking with my um, my boyfriend last night, um, you know, he he was saying things like, "You you just keep doing what you're doing, and your body's gonna find the place where it's happiest," you know. And it may not be where I got to the lowest. It may not be for me. I got to 174. It may be 200. And your body is happy and healthy and thriving and able to do everything that it's supposed to be doing. And um, and that really just made me think, like, why, why do we get so obsessive about a number? And why do we think that we haven't achieved our goal if we don't see that number on the scale? And, um, and I think back to, like, when I first started making these videos, when I weighed 370 pounds, like... You know, the goals that I was lift, listing off, the things that I wanted to accomplish, to learn how to eat well, to um, to make fitness a regular part of my lifestyle, to enjoy it, <laughs> to enjoy life, to go live life. Like today, I'm going to go see Beauty and the Beast and I'm going to sit in the movie theater and I'm not going to get like the seats the sides of the seats just digging into my hips, making me so uncomfortable and in so much pain the whole time that I can't even enjoy the movie. No, I'm going to go and I'm going to be focused on watching the movie. And I couldn't have done that at 370 pounds. I serve people more. That was a, that was a big goal of mine. Like I just felt like I was stuck in my house most of the time, not wanting to, not wanting people to see me. And I didn't feel worthy of, like serving the Lord or serving his people in the church or, or anything like that. And I, I don't, I don't say these things to be like, and now Meredith's amazing because she does all these things. Look at these ministries that she's involved in. It's like, no, like, because I am feeling healthier because I'm not in physical pain or emotional pain and shame 
all the time. I'm able to take the focus off of myself. You know, it's back onto the Lord. And when your eyes are lifted up, then you are better able to see the people around you to serve. You know, and it's just, and it seems backwards. It's like, well, aren't you taking better care of yourself? Isn't your focus more on yourself? Like your eating, your exercise. If I don't do that, then I get sucked inside. I cannot see anyone else around me. I'm definitely not looking at the Lord. I'm only looking at myself. So when I take the time to do those things, to eat well, to, to do those things that I wanted to accomplish, those goals that I had for myself at 370 pounds, then I can lift my eyes off of myself and look to the Lord and say, God, what is it that you want me to do? Who is it that you want me to serve? Who is it that you want me to love? And then when my eyes are up, you're just better able to see those around you because you're not just so focused in all the time. And so to answer my question that I posed to myself, have I reached goal? Heck yes. Yeah, I have. I have totally reached goal. Like, I I love the way that I eat. I love the way that the, the way that I eat makes me feel. And I love learning new things about it too. It's not like I don't know. I'm still messing around and playing with that stuff. But the more whole foods that I eat, the more um, less processed stuff that I put in my body, the more alive I feel. <laughs> and um and I love I love the things that working out accomplishes. I work in a job where I don't get to see results really, really quickly. And I just feel like I'm doing the same thing every day. And my students do grow. They they make progress. But you still just you feel like you're running in circles most of the time. And you don't see that, that growth as quickly as you would like to. But I can go to the gym and... Every time I go in, I complete something. I finish whatever the workout is, whatever it is. So I leave with that sense of accomplishment. And I'm also able to track my own growth and progress, you know? Like, last week I back squatted at 105, and then the next week it was 115. That's a 10-pound improvement. You know, like, you can track your growth. And there's so many things that I love about CrossFit and working out. And if you want me to talk about that, I can. But um, why am I so obsessive over a number? You know what? I think I'm just going to keep moving forward. Yeah, I'll keep track of my weight loss for you. And um, and it's amazing to go from almost 400 pounds to now almost to 200 pounds. And, like, that's incredible. And I'm not discounting the numbers. Um, but if you look at, like, I remember I really want to get to 200 pounds lost, to get to 170 pounds, but why? Why do I want it? And then if I look at like the BMI charts, I figured it out and calculated it for my frame. Um, I'm supposed to be like 140 pounds according to those BMI charts. Why? Why get so caught up in a number that you lose focus of all the beautiful things, all the beautiful goals that you have achieved? So guys, I'm just declaring it. I am at goal. I am thriving and happy and and um, my skin is the best that it's ever been. I mean, it's just like, I could list, could list all the things. And maybe I should. That would be a good exercise to do just for myself. To just list all the benefits of this life that I love. Because I wasn't loving life two years ago. I just wasn't. And, um, you know, and I've regained weight. And I got sucked back into, what, what was I doing? Well, I was eating the same way that I was before. So, when I was miserable. <laughs> so, if you do the same things that you've always done, you're going to get the same results that you've always gotten. You just are. And so going back to eating well, the results that I was getting was I was feeling awesome. <laughs> and, and now I'm back to feeling awesome again. Anyway, so yeah, I'm at goal. What does goal mean to you? Will you please let me know? And if you've let me know if you've reached it or if you feel like you're 
on your way there? If you have any thoughts about why the number, you know, does it not bother you? Are you just like super awesome and you're like, whatever, I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Or do you find yourself getting obsessive over a number and why? Why do you think that might be? Um, um, please follow me on Instagram and you can follow me on my fitness pal. You can see all the things that I'm eating, like this beautiful green smoothie today. And, um, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Oh, before I tag out, I love my boyfriend. He's the very best in the world. Ladies, I'm sorry. The man that you have just, I mean, everyone pales in comparison to this guy. I just. I love him so much. All right.